Let's figure out the best settings to use for this eighth inch piece of walnut wood. I'm Ashley and this is Elsa and this is your build, so let's get into it. All right, so I want to make a project with some walnut wood. So I have this eighth inch walnut board here and I want to run a material test on this. That way I can find the optimized settings before wasting a bunch of this material. So this little piece of wood is roughly four and a half by five inches. So we're going to go into light burn and we're going to use the material test card that Thunder provides for us and then we can get into it. And what I'm actually gonna do to minimize waste, I'm going to first engrave the engraving setting test on here, and then take note of the engraving settings that I wanna use, and then I'm gonna flip it over and then I'm gonna do the actual test cutting as well. Uh, that way I'm using as little material as possible for this test. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set my origin to the top left, that way when I position it in the laser, I'll know that's where it needs to be. Get rid, I'm gonna select this little square and I'm gonna move this out of the way. Then I'll select all of this and because we have cut selected graphic. All right, so I'm gonna hit send to the laser and I'm gonna to test, click okay. All right, so I'm just gonna place this piece of wood in there and then we will use the control panel to move the laser head over and then we will hit autofocus, click OK. And then the laser is going to do its thing. That way it gets the right thickness. Now we can move and set our origin. So we'll click the origin button and then now we can hit start. I do have to say I love the smell of walnut when it's being engraved or cut. Elsa is apparently determined to lay down right in the middle of this. Okay, so this testing actually worked really good. And so I think for me, I think the speed of 600 and the power anywhere from 20 to 30, I think looks really good. Uh, and that would be like my medium engrave. And if I need a lighter grave, engrave, I might do like, I don't know, 815. But so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take a picture of this on my phone. And then I'll favorite that picture so I don't lose it. Um, and then I am going to write down a note of what settings I like the best. And then we can flip it over and do our test cutting. Okay, so now we can do our cut layer here. So let's select this all job origin cells in the top left. We can send this to the laser and say, name this the same thing test and I'll just override it and that's fine. All right, and so now we can put this in there. All right, so I'm just going to do a quick frame real quick. There we go. And then we can hit start. All right, so this turned out really well again. I think the settings I'm going to use is a speed of 15 and the power of 60. I can go anywhere from 50 to 70, really, but I think I'm going to do that one. Um, you know, there's no any kind of like residue left after anything, and that's pretty clean cut. Um, you can see like some of the slower speeds. Um, it was just like a hairline that it didn't cut out. But so if you need to find settings, definitely just use the tools that Thunder has already provided for you because you're going to save so much time and material and money doing it this way. But so now that we have that, we can cut something out with these settings. All right. So for the cut settings, like I said, we're going to do 15 speed, 60 power. And our engraved settings are going to be 600 speed with 30 power. All right, and that's pretty good considering we didn't mask it or anything. All right, you guys, well, I hope this process helped you out. It's very important that you do a material testing card because you're honestly just going to save so much money in the long run. Let me know if you have any questions down below, and I'll be happy to get back to you. Uh, but see you next time, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye!